Hello and happy Multichroma Day. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and I love any makeup, especially shiny, shifting, sparkly eyeshadows. And Multichroma Day is a series I do here on my channel where I feature different multichromes from all different kinds of brands. I do swatch comparisons, tutorials, and everything else that has to do with multichrome. And today I'm going to be talking about some multichrome highlighters. These are from Christine Lee Cosmetics and they were so kind to send me these. They also sent me a bunch of eyeshadows. So stay tuned for a video with these eyeshadows. But I'm going to be talking about two of their highlighters. One of them is Birthday Bash, which is their original multi-chrome highlighter, which I didn't have, and their new party favorite multi-chrome highlighter. And at the time that you're watching this, their Etsy shop is closed in preparation for some new launches, including the new party favorite highlighter, as well as some of these shades that you see down here. I'm going to show you how these all look in comparison to each other, as well as these Space Age multi-chrome highlighters from Kaleido, so you have that comparison in case you already have any of these. And I'm also going to show you an application demo of the two new highlighters, well, two new to me. And I do have an affiliate code with Christine Lee Cosmetics. It is Millie 15 in case you're interested. So let's get right into it. So the top is Shenanigans, below that is Party Favor. And below that is Birthday Bash. So definitely have quite a bit of a different look to them straight on. Really, we've got like a blue, purple, green to a orange, gold, yellow. And then Birthday Bash has that redness, fiery look to it. And I think from these swatches, you can also tell the textures are slightly different. So we do have a little bit more of a texture in the Shenanigans shade. So I've added to the comparisons and right below Birthday Bash is Kaleidos Gifted. And below that is Prophecy. And these two are, I would say, pretty different in texture from all of these. They're super, super smooth. But they seem to have a little bit more of like a whitish base to them versus the Kristen Lee Cosmetics highlighters are very, very translucent based. And I don't think there's really much similarities here. Maybe a little bit between Prophecy and Party Favor. I'm going to do Party Favor on this side and Birthday Bash on this side. And I'm using this sort of denser blending brush from Gimme Glow and it is the G322 brush. It's too large for my eyes, so it's a designated highlighter brush now. And this is how that picked up. Just a little bit flaky. I'm just gonna kind of focus it first. Obviously, you don't have to put this much on. Oh, that's so beautiful. That really smoothed out nicely into my skin. I love the way that looks. Cleaned off the brush and dipped into Birthday Bash. Maybe picked up a little bit too much. <laughs> Oh yes. And I'm just taking it up into my temple a little bit. That also smooth out really nicely. Maybe it's, it's this brush. Definitely recommend using a denser brush with these. You could also use your finger. And I feel like these look very similar on the cheeks. You can mostly see the golden green shift to them versus kind of this straight on shift, which Birthday Bash has like a purple tone to it, if you can see there. And then Party Favor, it has a little bit of purple base in it, but you can't really see it once it's on. It's really just like the way it looks in the pan. You can kind of see it there. And it has a lot of like peachy orange tones in it. And green, of course. So I lowered the lighting. And we're gonna take a closer look at these. Lots of gold and green. And then similarly here, I do think right here is when I when I catch that other shift in it. Just kind of when you're looking straight on and then it starts to shift. like the new shade party favor because it is a smoother formula compared to the other two multi-chrome highlighters it is a lot less flaky it's it does have just a little bit of flakiness to it but nothing compared to shenanigans for example this one is extremely extremely flaky and i could see people not wanting to get this because of the texture so i do really like the formulation of this one over the others but i do still enjoy the shenanigans highlighter it is just so so impactful so shiny like really just 
total mermaid skin kind of highlighter. That being said, I do feel like the purple gets lost once you put this on the cheeks. Maybe if you layered it over like a purpley blush, I think that'd be actually really nice. But when you first look at it, it really does look like it has a lot of purple in it. So I'm not really sure if that's just kind of the way that the pigment is pressed in there or not, but I really wasn't able to see much of a purple reflect on my cheeks. I really mostly see the green and the gold. This would also make a great eyeshadow. Of course, don't buy it just for an eyeshadow purpose because it is a large pan, but I think that would really kick it up a notch if you could pair these with some purple matte eyeshadows or, or green eyeshadows. And similar to that, the Birthday Bash highlighter, again, I can mostly see the gold and green shifts to it, but I know that Birthday Bash is a limited edition, so I'm not sure if it's going to be available during the new launch uh, coming up this week, but I will put all the information down in the description box. And that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel. I would love it if you subscribed. There's so much new makeup content uporting my channel and much more to come you don't want to miss out so thank you so much for watching and i'll just see you next time